Hi, I've been asked to do this a lot. Keith Piper, aka Lord Zero. I'm also Pipe Dog 42 on YouTube. So I'm supposed to make a sword, and you guys haven't figured out how to do it on your own. So I guess I have to show somebody. PVC pipe, three quarter inch, approximately an arm's length, give or take. Full noodle. Spin it around. Figure out where you're comfortable using it. Mark that where your hand is. Put it on here. Take a sharp knife, give yourself one extra half inch, cut it, stick it on here. Take a spare piece, cut it about a half inch, give or take, cut a wedge out of it, cut the corners off the wedge, stick it in the hole at the end so the pipe doesn't come through. Goes on the end. Slit each one in half. Then push it down. Cross it over. See my thumb is pushing the middle. You want to get your thumb to push down that point. If you don't, it'll just be a point. Take your knife, 45 degree angle. Roughly, you don't measure. Cut that off. So, find your point here. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna secure the whole thing on with some duct tape. And you put it in the places where there isn't already duct tape on the end. This just adds a little more stability your end a bit. Doesn't matter how far, I tend to go about halfway down the handle because when you put the other end on your duct tape will cover the bottom half of the handle. Just tack it there for a second. Up. Loosely. Don't pull it tight. Gently. If you pull it tight you'll scrunch up your ends. You'll see that in a second here. You want this to go down here, but if you just tick this and push it, you'll pull the whole um, pull noodle down and it'll pop out the end. So what you want to do is start here, push it down nice and firm till it touches the pipe, push down your ends. Then two fingers push this part down first, then lay it down, squish it out of the way. Again, one more side, push down the middle, push down both sides, Put the end bit down first, and then just, it doesn't matter, you'll be covering all that up. Now this, there's a tip bit here that's a little tricky. So you have to slice this little dog ear off. See this, this loop here? You just want to cut it, and then lie it flat. You want to do that on all of them. Just lie it flat. And then, you do it again, 90 degrees of the first set. Let's do that real quick. Try to make sure it's even. Both sides, it's roughly the same. It'll make a difference when we're putting the hockey tape on later. Nice and gently. Try to even it out. See, I'm not pulling it down this way. I, I, I adhere it here first, so you're not pulling the end tight. Again, until you touch the pipe, then you push. This is an important step, which is why I'm being a dick about it, because um, if you pull the pool noodle at all, you'll pop it out the end, and it just becomes a pain in the ass to put a tip on it. And seeing how we put stabbing tips on all of our gear, it's important. Okay, so then, zip, zip, but you don't cut it straight up, eh? You're kind no, of no. Uh... You cut it at an angle. Well, you basically just 
I just swip the knife across and it cuts it at an angle. I just stick it in the hole and kind of just push the knife away. All, ha all you have to do is just to make sure that there's not a, a bump. Any kind of bump just becomes a real pain in the ass when you're trying to put the tip on. Okay, bottom end. Piece about this big, so I don't know, nine inches long. I'm gonna cut it in half. Watch your finger. I'm gonna put, cut this at about roughly a 45 degree angle. Same as the sword, same as the blade. Same thing, you wanna cut a little wedge out of here and you cut off the corners of the wedge. Stick the wedge in the hole, stick the whole unit on here. Okay, so we did that little cross piece on the top to hold it together to begin with. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go straight into this on this end. I have found that about an arm's length Come across it once, and here's where it gets fun if you suck with knives. You gotta split this. Split it, make sure it's tight, make sure it's not pushing up. See how I can push it up there? You don't wanna do that. You wanna hold it firm, bring one down, wrap it around. Again, wrap it around relatively snug, spiral around, one. So again, approximately an arm length. You see I'm trying to make everything even, I'm trying to make sure all these little visible bits are all the same size, more or less. The more even you are, the less chance it's going to twist off later. You're getting all your bracing um, on e equaling out each other on both sides. So that's why you're splitting the duct tape, is to so it doesn't twist off easily. No, split the duct tape because the that little little dog ear cutting method that we used on this end never seems to work well at the butt end. It just is a pain. So I come up with this method simply, I used to put one layer over and then another layer of duct tape to hold it all. I just do it all in one go now and this is the easiest way to get it nice and nice and smooth. See, no sharp bits, it's all nice and rounded. So instead of finishing this off, I'm gonna finish off the butt end first. Hockey tape or sport tape if you're an American or I don't know what the Europeans call it. So about halfway to the, up the handle, you're gonna cover well, I say half of this gap, but you'll see I'm doing more than half because this tape I have is thinner, but that's how it normally works. Up and over. Smooth it down nice before you pull it tight. Cut it. Just push it down nice and smooth. Handle, don't worry about it because you're going to be finishing the wrap and if your handle has a few little rough bits little weird edges it actually makes for a better grip smooth ones not many people like them completely smooth a lot don't like the spiral we put on it but that's why I don't put spirals on all of them The reason I'm putting green is that it's going to be a stabbing tip because all of the swords I make now are stabbing tip. So it's just easier to, to mark it. So I'm just covering up the last of the pool noodle. This is actually probably much more aesthetic than anything else. The pool noodle invisible would not screw with too much. As far as functionality is concerned. And point in fact, once I'm done this, you could fight with this. Just like that. Once I've done this, 
Wouldn't the pool noodle fall apart a bit? Not so much. Spiral around there. Okay, this is bigger than it needs to be. You could get away with using a smaller pool noodle. This only has to be two inches because it's a non-strike surface. The striking surface has to be two and a half, can't go into an eye socket. So technically, I have seen people fight with these just like this. We could fight with this, finish putting some tape on a hand grip, call it done. Got no stabbing tip. I don't like how they look. I want to make them look prettier, so I do. Okay, need a stabbing tip. This is pipe insulation for a three quarter inch pipe, which stuck together because someone was screwing with it. I have children. Insulated pipe layer. We're measuring a piece that fits the bottom. That's all we're doing. Cut it off flush. Cut the table, piss the wife off. Very important step. Okay, take this off. It's sticky. So, see this, they got the strip down the side here. You want to line up this. Touches on both sides, flat, flush on the other two sides. And then 90 degrees with the other one. Then, okay, this will cut my table, so I'm going to move it over to here for a second to my counter. Push it down flat, even. Try to make each side, each corner has the same amount of space left over it. And take some tape. You go up and over, even, both sides. Squish it down about 50%. You want it still to have some give. You want it still to be able to squish, but you want to kind of bring it down to about half of its height. One way, the other way. Now, else? now you want to look at it and see if you're level, and I'm obviously not. So I'm going to have to pull this side down a little bit more, and this side down a little bit more just to try to keep it roughly level. Still got lots of give, still has lots of poofy. Okay, did it on this side. The green there, the green there, and the green there for a reason, because I'm gonna come up from the bottom, halfway, over my pool noodle, up and over. If you can, cover up your green on one side. If you can't, we'll use a few extra pieces at the end to make sure we cover everything so it looks all pretty. Because we want them to look pretty. Don't we dare, pirate? We only play with pretty swords. Yes. <laughs> you gotta whack your friends with things. Make sure they're pretty. Or, or like so horrifically ugly they're terrifying. One or the other. We'd rather not scare people too much. Our fighting style does that enough. So you'll see when I go up over the top, I pull here and then I bring it over gently and I kind of squish it in. There's no, don't pull that tight at all. You want this to still have lots of give. You don't want to crush it. I'm holding it with my thumb to draw it so that way it's not pulling on the end. It's only pulling from where my thumb is. Down to covering up whatever spot is still available down here. And just like the duct tape before, you want to push it down from here down, not from here up. So, done both strips, and now we've got, see a little bit of visible foam there and here. So this is all strictly because I got a little bit of a bug up my butt about them looking good. So I just cover that, go over, you know, make sure it goes down both sides. The only thing you go down a little while, a little tiny bit. Got a gap here. I like to close them up. 
but again, it's just mostly for aesthetics. Okay. Now, I'm not going to use this one because it might run out, so I'll start with a, a new roll for the final steps. So you want to come down, I say about a third angle, and then you're just going to come around. Make sure you're fairly snug because this part of the sword gets the living tar kicked out of it and will really soften up. So if you snug it up a little bit, it squishes a bit, don't worry about it. In fact, I recommend it. Only go up as high as your stabbing tip starts. Done. Now to secure this better, you want to go about the bottom third, maybe a little less. Same thing. And this starts getting tight as well because this is the second most beat up part. This is usually where you catch a block. Okay. Nice, nice and loose. Just do half. Just let it fall. Don't try to lie it flat. You'll fold tape. Just let it fall nice and neatly until you get down to your handle. Oops. There you go. See, I pulled it so it folded. You don't want the tape to fold. Anywhere it folds, it's going to collect dirt. So, there you go. Then you just finish it off by going around the handle as tight as you can. How much hockey tape per sword? About one roll, give or take. Which is why, whenever we can, we buy it in bulk. But it's cheap. But. Done. Finished? And not quite. I test it. Pisses off the wife when I do that. She thinks I'm going to make myself stupid. Now, something I do is I... I stab some holes in the side of this. Where, where, what part are you stabbing? Inside? Just the, the sides of the stabbing tip. That allows air to come out the sides. So it makes it a little bit less painful to be stabbed. That's it. Now you can go beat up your friends like this.